All right, we're on the house, we're at the house on Highway 70 West here. I'll zoom in on, there's that pond right there that we talked about. It's just got a little water in it, but you could maybe get that in better shape if you wanted to, if you really wanted the pond. And we'll kind of pan around here now. Very big lot. So you're on five acres, a lot of front yard, big side yard you could do gardening on. This one has a little garage over to the right there, plus a garage in the basement. You see the stakes right there. There's a pink stake. That's the end of the line there, and I think it goes back in this way. Inside looks like it was pretty pretty nicely remodeled. We've got a new roof on it, new siding, new uh, columns there in the front, shutters. And the only thing they didn't replace was putting new appliances in, so you might want those later on. I'll have to check the map on this, but I thought this went that way a little bit. I could be wrong. But you got this whole area here you could used for gardening and all that and there's an outlet here which you could maybe hook up to an RV or something painted the brick on the chimney and the sunroom only access is this door here you can't go in it from your from the back of the house which is kind of unfortunate but Maybe we could remodel that later. Sorry, I guess it was not a garage. It was carport here. And then the rest of it, of course, is wooded. And looks like there's another pink stake right there. Right there. Shuts off some of this. I'll have to pull another map up to get all the property lines. And like we talked about before, it's got a huge parking lot for parking. So no garage here, just the carport for one car. You could possibly build a garage maybe right here down the road. Or additional area and an additional carport maybe and then we've got this shop out here and I don't know if the doors open on this I'll try to walk over to it we've got a old light right here not sure if it works anymore or not and you do have a big cell tower right here in the neighboring property Nice little fire pit right there. It's like a pretty deep garage here. Put a good sized vehicle in here. I don't know if they left this door unlocked or not. No, they did. That's good. Alright, so we got a See if there's any electricity in here. No, it's not on. Looks like they got it off, so I don't know if you can see very good in here or not. It's got a gigantic air compressor in here that must come with all the electrical there. Yeah, don't forget to put a couple cars deep in here probably maybe even two smaller ones side by side you should pull them into the left and it's got the roll-up door so, nice little workshop 
Again, that's wooded there. Goes downhill into a dip there. So not real steep, like we've seen in that top of the map. It was kind of like a rolling hill back there. But you got plenty of room out here for gardening. Since this is a five acre lot and you probably got three acres of open area. It's pretty out here. But the road is pretty worth you know, pretty far back there. And I think I quoted four football fields yesterday. I meant to say it was 400 feet. So football field and a quarter from the highway. So I was wrong when I said that. So if that makes a difference, make sure I correct myself on that. I was thinking of yards, not feet. All right, we're gonna go ahead inside the house now. We've got tile as you walk in. Nice big dining area that's open into the living room. And we've got a fireplace here. Let's see if we got that set up for set up for gas <clears throat> go ahead and look at these bedrooms first you got your HVAC return right there in the thermostat you got a guest bath right here with the old style insert shower tub and then a bedroom on the right here with the standard closet part of that return comes into that closet right there a little space right there And then back down the hallway. And this is an old fan right here that sucks up the hot air. They did these in the mid-century to keep the heat out from the house in the uh, summertime. So, and then to the right, we've got another bedroom here. Could use a little paint job here. We got some markings on the wall there. And these are original windows in here. And this is the uh, bigger of the bedroom. You can sit at the master. You've got a standard closet there. And another closet over here on the left. This is all new flooring, it looks like laminate. And they put a new toilet in, commode, and um, still got the older insert tub shower, but that one's actually got jacuzzi jets. Not sure if they work or not. I'll check that on inspection. And then you got two mirrors, and it's a corner piece here for you. It does have the GFI for the electrical outlet. And you got built-in bookshelves right here, looks like. Yep. Yeah, it looks like that moves, so it's not built-in. But then you've also got shelves in this garage. I'm sorry, garage. In this closet. All right. That one doesn't have that, so. All right, we'll go off into the kitchen now. a little bit more here so you can see how that opens up and again original windows there and there as well so 
nice new lighting. You go into the kitchen, they have new cabinets in here. Got some really neat features here where these open up. Put your stuff back there, flip it shut. This one over here just opens up as well, so you can put your canned goods in and keep it organized. It's kind of nice. And spice racks on the side of it. The rest of the cabin, like I said, the only thing I don't have is uh, new new appliances. But these look like they're looks like they match that pretty well. But those look like they're new. Yeah, these are newer cabinets here. I think they kept the original tops on it, of course. And they try to think they just matched all these. Well, these might be they look into. Yes, they're not there. They're probably not brand new with their newer. It's got the lazy Susan down there. Spins. Just a standard microwave. And your standard fridge. And then back this way, you've got your laundry area, cabinets. That goes out the side door. And then you can take you around to the sunroom. We'll come back in and go into the basement when we're done here. There's a little power wash that looks like they tried a little bit. And then your sunroom area. Big tile in here. This is all screened in so you can open it up. They don't have a heat source or electric out here for that, but you could add that. Well, those split units are nice. Going pan right there, and then you can walk out front. We've got this little deck area out here, looking down onto the driveway. Old basketball hoop. Like I said that's be a nice area, maybe for a garden there. I'm going to go ahead and go into the basement now and show you that. You said there was a bad step, Gail. Okay, so we've got a bad step look at it right you there, so get that fixed. Oh, looks like Diana's on the phone calling me now. I'll have to call her right back. All right, we got this is the Huge basement that you could build out, put some suspended ceiling in here and make more rooms if you wanted to. But I know you don't need that much room. Looks like they already had a, ba a bathroom started here and uh, just didn't finish it. So that's something that can be finished out. And there's another big room here. Has a heater and propane heater in the side of it. Uses like a little in-law kitchen or something like that, maybe. It's got the old panel in here. And the duct work looks pretty good on the HVAC unit. I'm gonna check out the unit up outside. And they did update the electrical, I think at least in the 90s or 2000s. Just looking for a code. Usually they have a date on there, but I don't see it, but at least it's up to date. And then the hot water heater's gas. And yeah, it looks like it's a newer unit. They've got some new venting right there. It looks like a pretty new unit. That's good. I'm gonna step outside. The carport. And here is one of the units here. I should just run the whole house. And this one 
2014 model. It's a rude, red model, which is usually pretty good. But that is a smaller unit for the whole house. I don't know if that's all there is or not. Let's see if there's another one on the side. Be the only one, so it must be doing the job, though. I guess but yeah, that should be it. I'll get you this video sent out and take a look at it. I notice you just called, so I'm gonna call you right back. should be a wrap.